Oh, it's a TV mount. Oh, this is neat. This is a Murphy bed. They can be a real pain. Not sure what's going on. They're real table happy. That's why you get an RV inspection. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Today we're taking a look at a 2024 Jayco J Feather. Almost said J Flight. This one's a J Feather. 21 MML. I want to give a special thanks to Austin at Robert Christ of Mesa, Arizona for letting us do these videos. get started and the volume of the storage compartment all right you got a basic pass through right here nothing too special do have a light a 110 plug what does this light switch do not sure what that runs magnetic catches got a pretty good sized awning there solid steps water fill water fill on the passenger side Goodyear Endurance Tires, Suburban Furnace. I have no clue. No idea. It does have manual stabilizing jacks. Got your propane connect for a barbecue. Barbecue. Oh, it's a TV mount. Power And cable, cable TV out. Sometimes we just have to pay a little more attention. I'll bet you there's the TV inside disconnects and then you can bring it outside to watch TV outside. All right. This is a different place for your black uh, tank flush. 30 amp hookup, outdoor shower, and it does have a ladder, 250 pound capacity. Got your cable input. input. Right here. The output was on the other side. Ferion water heater. City water connection. Got your black and gray tank uh, dump right there. One slide out. This is on a cable system. So the cable system, uh, they can be a real pain to adjust and keep adjusted, but they are cheaper and easier to do it yourself repair. Battery disconnect to the other side of the pass through. Total weight capacity, 1,254 pounds. If you're gonna fill it up with water, that's gonna take 458 pounds of that. Be aware of that. This is more of a weekend or a small trip. You're not gonna full-time live in this unless you're really gonna live light. Let's go take a look at the inside. I am uh, entering the RV. Oh, this is neat. Yeah, got a little bit of a bench love seat kind of thing going on here. And then you got a table under here, two drawers. I'm guessing it's just to use outside that table. You could use it outside and you might be able to squeeze it in right here in front of that. I'm not sure. You do have 110 outlet here and USB A and C. Closet on both sides. And yes, this is a Murphy bed. So we're gonna show you real quick how to do it. It's pretty darn easy. Oh! oh. <laughs> That's so cool. One simple latch, that thing comes right down. Now it's a bed. You don't even have, you can leave it like this and still get in and out. Theater sitting over here with more tables. They're real table happy here. Those are recliners on the slide out. The other side, you have a dinette with some storage on both sides. This one doesn't go super, super deep. This table does collapse down and the cushions fold into a bed here as well. So you can sleep four pretty easily. Well, I don't know, two adults, two kids. And if you really want to throw somebody on the recliner. TV up here, cabinet. Let's get a look at the kitchen. Every chill 12 volt refrigerator. Cabinet above the stove and beside it and below. Pots and pan drawer. Got a four burner propane stove with a small oven. Three. It's a three burner. Is so. it three? Oh, it is a three. Got knife storage, utility storage in the back. Storage above the sink. It's like a 900 watt Furion microwave. Is it bigger than a bread box? Blackout shades. 
and you do have a power outlet system right there. All you have to do is push to close it. You gotta push that. <laughs> like so. So, 110, USB and USB-A and the USB-C. Got a double basin, plastic sink. Plastic. With a cutting board as a cover and a wire grate as a cover. No uh, spray nozzle here. Storage underneath, it does not, as you see the cabinet doesn't go, you're gonna have your water pump and such under here I bet. Four pretty good sized drawers there. Got a pocket door for the bathroom. They all have bathrooms. There's bathrooms. Got your toilet here, quite a bit of space around it. Cabinets, medicine cabinet, stainless steel sink, another cabinet there, and a small space there with the toilet holder and 110 GFCI outlet there. The shower, not bad, not bad at all. It's got a little bit of a dip, so that's gonna help with any water splashes, water leaks. The higher this lip is, the less likely water is gonna come out over the edge. And this one is a plastic sliding door that should latch a little bit better than that. Not sure what's going on. That's why you get an RV inspection. Oh, I did I miss that pantry? I want to say I that. might have missed that pantry. That's a huge pantry. That's good size. Got your power center there and your furnace intake there. Okay, there's our quick walkthrough of a 2024 Jayco J Feather 21 MML. Any thoughts? Any comments? I think this one's a good uh a good starter or a good weekender trailer. Keep in mind the carrying capacity though. It'd probably be pretty easy to overload this. And we'll see you in the next video.